Uh, welcome to Ivo Studio. My name is Tia Rakkonen and I'm the concept designer at Ivo. I'm very excited about today's guests. Um, we have a guest from Gargatech and um, they have been using Ivo to analyze their employee satisfaction. And also we have our own anthropologist um, from Ivo with us. So welcome to the studio, Ville Karkiainen from Gargatech and Aade Audio uh, from Ivo. Um, so if both of you could introduce yourselves um, for the beginning and tell a little bit about your roles um, in this uh, Cargotech um, Ivo cooperation and just say a few words um, of yourselves. Uh, Ville, would you like to start? With pleasure. Yeah, so my name is Ville Karkiainen, so it's a complicated last name. Uh, my real role at Karkotek at the moment is, is kind of the head of talent. Um, um, I've always been fascinated about what people do and why they do that. So that's been kind of fueling my career. I've been on the other side of the table as well as a consultant and before that on the other side of the table. And uh, in terms of industries, my career spans coffee, cigarettes, <laughs> consultancy and now heavy machinery. So yeah, so that's pretty much my my past. Yeah, hello, I am and I am Adelia from Iowa, and I'm the resident anthropologist here. And uh, I've been working with Villa and Cargotech on the like, on the like employee satisfaction, and also on the talent renewal renewal surveys on on the findings there and how we can improve Cargotech through that through them. Interesting. Welcome to the studio. Um, if you go um, start start the questions, um, Villa, I would like to ask you, what gave you the motivation to pursue Ivo, uh, Ivo's qualitative analytics? Uh, what was the question or problem uh, that you wanted to solve? Yeah, so the way we've approached, well, initially leadership development and quite rigorously that domain and, and people development at Cardiotech, it's always been driven by and large, uh, what the facts say. So we've always been quite focused on gathering uh, insight uh, from how the organization is doing, what are they thinking, and always trying to understand how that links to productivity and, and, and customer impact. And uh, so when I met the Iowa representatives for the first time, the thing that I think was important for me was, was twofold. One, there was a way to really understand um, how what people say makes sense at an organizational level. So that's to understand the, to really understand the language and categorize that language so that it makes sense in terms of themes and segments. But also that it was quite a quite a sort of surprise to me that we would be able to, through free text analysis, also understand the mood. Because usually um, you use quantitative metrics to get to the mood, and for that you need various different kinds of it items. And uh, so when you measure, the way I see it, when you measure engagement and mood through quantitative metrics, you get to you get to understand where people are now, but you really can't see where they're coming from. So what is kind of the root cause for that? And for me, I go, the other solution stroke is something that would kind of provide us with both, not just the outcome. So where are people emotionally at the moment, but also the reasons, because people would write about what they're thinking about and so forth. And then finally, I find the people I find the people of Ivo quite sort of fun a bunch of people to work with. And so they're outspoken, they say what they think, sometimes even too straight, but that's the way I like it. So I, I found them a really good partner as well and, and, and fun partner to work with. That's great to hear. Um, Arthur, how did you uh, how did you feel about the cooperation with, with Cardtech? Uh, the cooperation with Cargo Tech, as Vila said, it's been it's been like it's been superb. I've enjoyed it immensely, and uh, it's been really like driven by the data and the people, and I've enjoyed that that aspect of it immensely. And uh, as as Vila brought up, uh, we haven't uh, censored our opinions in that regard. Like we we like to bring out what people are actually bringing out in their like in their data and uh, through their own own like text and through their own voice 
and hearing that through uh, almost no filter is really important and i believe it's been one of the like best aspects of this cooperation definitely um so Ville, uh, you've been doing surveys uh, to your employees that Ivo, Ivo has been analyzing. So um, how has this enabled your development regarding to Cargotex uh, employee satisfaction or organizational development? Mm, it, it is a good question. So um, we piloted or tested the, the approach for the first time. I think it was uh, in the beginning of 2020. And that was kind of just a, with an old data set, trying to understand um, how what they saw in people's commentary, so what people vo voluntarily wrote uh, as a response to engagement, uh, as a response to engagement survey to, to, to 2019 um, questions, whether it works or not. Uh, but the real pilot was um, sometime. We started that sometime April May May time. Yeah. So everybody knows that COVID nineteen hit the world quite rough, and and when we weren't spared for that either. Um, right from the get go, uh, it was really important for us to understand how people feel, what they think, how how the mood of the organization evolves as we move forward in time, and and the the sort of setup that we had was a weekly survey, mm -hmm. and. We did two things. So we had a very, very short quantitative piece in it, but then we also had one kind of open text field. And the question was very open. It was more or less sort of, what are you thinking about this week? Which is really important. I've learned through through Arte, uh, not to sort of steer people's thoughts in any, any, any which direction. And it, also importantly, from survey design perspective, this was the first question uh, to ask. So we were doing two things, quantitative and now also qualitative. Uh, analysis and this qualitative piece was was carried out by Ivo, and and the reason why this was such a sort of fruitful test bed was we were able to see whether really the mood that Ivo measures through through sort of uh, pretext input actually follows the mood that we measure from the quantitative analysis, and it did. But but more than that, we were able to understand why is it that the data is the way it is. So why is it that the mood is what it is, and what is it that people think about? which is what they write about every week. And, and it was really awesome to see how that evolved when the organization was, or where something happened in the environment, so the outside world or in people's lives, but, but at the grand scale, when we were making decisions that concerned the entire organization, it was, it was really important and also fascinating to see how the mood of the organization shifted in both the quantitative analysis, but also the, the qualitative one and why. Very yeah. interesting. Yeah, Ade, Ade, yeah. And I believe that Cargo Tech was, and I know that Cargo Tech was especially good in like taking the taking the like output from the Ivo engine and then moving it into action points and then following them following them like through the weeks on how it actually evolved and they like got to see like uh, how it actually like uh, moved from week to week and what were the waves that they got from the actions that they actually made and that was really fruitful. Yeah, and here is a, maybe maybe to colleagues out there uh, an important finding to me personally. Kind of it makes sense, but when you see that in real life, you you gotta believe it. And that's um, most of the companies by by numbers at least would would still employ annual engagement service or some even by annual. And what you then do is you're sort of amazed about uh, specific if a specific item moves up or down one percent. But what we saw is that this very item could move up five, even 10% on a weekly basis. So what then, if you only measure it once a year, I mean, you will never, I mean, so, so what? It could be part of a, a daily or weekly shift and you will never be able to see if you only do it once a year, twice a year, uh, every second year, how is it that the things that you do in, in the organization, how are they affecting people? You will never know if you only do that on a, so, so, so rarely. So yeah, that was kind of a, it was really interesting to see how much the mood swing uh, just in a, in a week. Yeah. This, this is true. Um, so all of this, all of these obs observations that you were you were talking about, you uh, those could be seen uh, from Ivo's user interface. So um, how how has it been to observe uh, those uh, results 
from from the user interface uh, was it easy or and and how was it to start developing your employee satisfaction uh, based on the insights that uh, you've gotten through Ivo? Well, what I would say that it gets easier over time is one thing that you need to understand is is whilst uh, an AI can bring bring to your attention um, categories and and themes that are in people's minds in in the case the way we structure the questions is is you without your yourself going through the data and trying to understand it and and kind of putting that into the context of various changes that are happening in the organization it makes no sense so so what you need to understand is that there is no silver bullet that you, you the, the problem with large data sets is that there's no way a human operator can analyze through them without getting tired and, and even making some some sort of fault false conclusions so a machine can help with that but you still need to spend time with the data because only you can understand what's going on in the organization and 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 how this may link to that so there is no silver bullet uh, the interface itself curates the information really well i feel it brings out the mood uh, measurement which is something that that you just can't do that if you're doing qualitative surveys uh, as a as a human operator it would take so much time that it wouldn't be economically viable so it helps as much as it can but but you really need to be kind of like a, a, a semi nerd or anthropologist mindset have an anthropologist mindset yourself otherwise it doesn't make sense there is no silver bullet only you understand the organizational context the ai doesn't it has a data set that it it it, it sort of researches for you but it's a partner it's not a it's not a sort of, uh, I don't know, stone of wisdom. I don't know if that translates to English. It's not a silver bullet. Yeah. And uh, and the important part is that like findings that are quite generic from a like AI perspective, uh, get on like completely different, different like uh, taste to them once, once it goes like through the subject matter experts. Uh, yes. eyes and through the like expertise that they have. And uh, even like small scale findings that wouldn't be interesting uh, in a like generic sense are immensely interesting once we know the context like where they where they happen there exactly Co context is key context yeah. is key yeah you really need to work with the data yeah very good reminder um so uh, what would you say uh Ville or, or Arte, both of you um uh, what have been concrete benefits uh that working with Ivo or working with Cargotech, your the cooperation has provided. If, well, if you could say like three three key benefits or well well I can start. Mm -hmm. So so without Ivo, we wouldn't be able to analyze data sets that are this large. So it's we just can't do that. So that's a fairly concrete benefit. So then the result of the analysis they actually feed and they fed into decision making of this firm. So we were making decisions also based on that data. So I, I don't know, it, I don't, for me, it doesn't get more concrete than that. So it was actually driving decision making. Very yeah. good. Uh, uh, from, from like our side, like working with cargo tech, uh, the, the like most concrete benefit that I can think of is like the, the like, attitude that cargo tech actually has to like changing and the employees and the data itself like data driven decision decision making is is like immensely important and the like drive to it is people centric mm -hmm. and seeing that and uh, getting to work with that and getting to work with Ville and his whole team has been uh, an excellent experience because you can see the drive that they have to like bettering the lives of the employees, the lives of uh, everyone in cargo tech and also cargo tech as a whole, as a company. It's been, it's been really excellent. You know, uh, <laughs> I'm glad to hear. I think this was a great ending uh, to our conversation and it's, it's always very uh, great to hear that uh, both, both, uh, both of you are very happy with the cooperation and, and, um, and um, I want to thank you both uh, for the visit. And Ville, thank you for visiting our studio. And thank you, Aade. Thank you. And 
So this was Ivo Studio's uh, episode, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>